H hello today um there's just i just want to show you some long division and and just to go through this so i just want to talk about a bit more maths today if that's all right and i've got this here at the top there i've got one over one one divided by 1.40 times 50 over one that's the first stage the second stage i've then just not took taken off the noughts on that bit there that's stage two so stage one is, is on the right bit of the there on the whiteboard the stage two is there one divided by 1.4 without and it's it's uh, i've taken the naught off times instead of 50 it's it's five and instead of 1.40 it's 1 1.4 uh so i just wanted to show you that um so yeah i've just done that thank you for looking thank you and so yeah i've just done that there and then here i've said 1.4 1.4 into 5 now that goes so you just say 1.4 into how many times does 1.4 go into 5 it goes three times and the answer is 4.2 and then you so you put the three at the, at the top there and then you say um, 5 minus 4.2 is 8. So then you say 1.4 into 8. And that goes 5 times, because 5 times 1.4 gives you 7. Um, I've done that little calculation there. So that, that goes, um, that goes, that's, so it's 3, three 5 there. And then, um, so it goes seven times. So then you say eight minus seven or eight point naught. And then I've got seven point naught there, as you can see. Eight minus seven gives you one. So 1 1.4 doesn't go into one. But if you say 1.4 into 10, let's say, it goes seven times. And then seven times 1.4, I think, gives you 9.8 or something. Sorry. Um, just very quickly here. Seven four is twenty eight. One seven is yeah. So one point. I've just done the calculation there. So one point four times seven gives you nine point eight. Um, just to check that I'm right. And then of course you've got so it, it, the answer is thirty five point seven one. I just wanted to show you that. Thank you. I've just done all the calculations so that it just helps you a bit more. It's long. It's just long division I'm doing here. And I'm trying to cover every single stage of it rather than just giving you the answer with that and, and missing out some of the stages. Thank you for looking at that. It's lovely. Thank you. And on this side, I've just written this formula here. C17, H21, one atom of nitrogen and one atom of oxygen. And I think it's something something about cough mixture, isn't it, this, this one here? Um, I just wanted to show you that. And I wasn't sure whether the letters R or I there. So I've just got the the option of either R or R, the letter R, or letter R or the letter I. And I just wanted to, you to see that. Thank you very much. So C17, H21, one atom of nitrogen, nitrogen, one atom of oxygen. I think it's something like cough mixture, this one. I think it is. Anyway, I just wanted you to see that. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely, thank you. I just just want to cover topics here that that you know, so you've become better at these topics if you like, you know. And the exam technique and and, and application probably will, will will come very quickly if you if you're good at the topics and uh, the exam technique is you know you'll you'll soon um, if you know the, if you've got the knowledge of topics your exam technique and your application will will soon come along. Anyway, thank you. I just wanted you to see that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. And if you like what I'm doing, if you could subscribe to my channel, that'd be very nice of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.